in Tampa, St. Petersburg, Florida. And I'm actually in the city of Tampa, in downtown, driving through. I am going to find a place to park and explore the downtown area. I've always been interested in coming here. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what's all down here. Let's give you a little bit more of the look from the ground level. Well, I finally found a place to park the Bronco. And I am now going to go into downtown Tampa. See what's in there. See if there's anything interesting. What kind of downtown is it? Is it the kind of place where people live and eat and work? Is it vibrant? I'm gonna head in there right now and see. Um, this is the Bank of America. One of the taller towers in the city. You can see the palm trees up front. And this building's really beautiful. It's a round building. The uh, whole city has a beach vibe to it. Tampa and St. Petersburg. We're actually staying on Treasure Island, which is uh, on the other side of pa uh, St. Petersburg from here, but I'm just entering downtown now and it's pretty active. I'll tell you one thing, you cannot argue with the weather. It's uh, the second week of January and it's about 75 degrees out here, Most, mostly sunny. That's nice weather <laughs> for mid-January. And I'm told by the locals that this is the coldest month of the year. So you just can't beat that. You can hear a church that's right here in the downtown area. Bells are chiming. I guess it's noon. Yep, 12 noon. Oh. As you can see as I'm walking through, this is a really nice, well-kept city center. There are always beautiful churches in downtown cities. Tampa is no exception. This is the Sacred Heart Catholic Church. And um, you can tell it's old. I don't know how old, but it's really beautiful. Zoom in on this. This is building here is abandoned. Got some Betty Boop pictures on the wall though. That's always a plus in my book. Seeing what's around the corner here. Yeah. This old building's seen better days, hasn't it? Well, let's take a look in there. It's just destroyed, isn't it? Looks like a homeless person tried to get in. There's the glass on the ground. Another uh, building with just debris on the inside. Florida Shoe Hospital. Yeah. Nothing in there. None of these stores are open along here. Even though there is a real fancy hotel across the street. That's the Le Meridian. Real high-end hotel. But this side of the street is uh, basically abandoned. First Presbyterian, it says. But I think this place is abandoned. That sign suggests that this building, and, or this church anyway, is not occupied. You see the inside of it there. Filled with trash. 
So I'm gonna head this way. So this is the United States Courthouse. And across the street is the Hotel Floridan. And that is an apartment building. But the real gym here is this building. It says Cress on the top. K-R-E-S-S. -S. This is beautiful, but it is empty. Now I'm on the other side of this Crest building. You can see it a lot better because the sun is shining in this direction. You see the detail. It's a beautiful building. Again, hopefully they are refurbishing it. Here's a beautiful old building that has been refurbished. The Tampa Theater. Looks like it's live theater. And um, yeah, it's really beautiful as well. Another view of downtown and straight down the sidewalk are numerous restaurants with sidewalk dining. Beautiful day for that, because it's well into the 70s. Another look at that building, really like that one. All right, well, I've circled the entire downtown of Tampa, or a lot of it anyway. Tampa has a sister city, a twin city, St. Petersburg. I am going to head over there now and check out that city center. Tampa Bay is behind me now. I'm on the bridge that crosses Tampa Bay. Here's a view of it. And on the other side of this bay, or this uh, bridge, is uh, Tampa's smaller twin, St. Petersburg. I am in downtown St. Petersburg, and um, one of the things that signals to you that a downtown or a city center is healthy and growing is trains, buildings under construction. And it surprises me that St. Petersburg has a lot more buildings under construction, a lot more high-rises than does Tampa. Here's three just right here. And um, it's got a full-fledged grocery store too. Not a lot of downtown areas have that. So already I'm pretty impressed with St. Pete. I'm gonna go into that area, the heart of the downtown, and get a closer look. This marina is right in downtown, or right on the edge of downtown St. Petersburg. I'll swing around here so you can get an idea of where I'm at. Now, most of these buildings are apartments and condos. So, what I'm seeing is that St. Petersburg is more residential than commercial. This is where people come to live. These are the most amazing kind of downtowns to me because, yeah, you've got some banks and buildings down here, but you have a ton of people who live here. And there's traffic everywhere. Can't really blame them though, because as I said earlier, this is the second week in January. It is, geez, it's gotta be pushing 80 degrees out here. Full sun, no wind, very nice, amazing weather. That's a beautiful building, and that's an apartment building. Like I told you earlier, a lot of construction. This is the arena that the Tampa Bay Rowdies play. They play here in St. Petersburg, and they are the professional soccer team in this metropolitan area. Tampa St. Petersburg, it's pretty large. It's roughly 3.2 million people in their metropolitan area. It's the 18th largest in the United States. So that's pretty big. That's good sized. This is an old historic building, Ponce de Leon. The Ponce de Leon Hotel. It's got a little restaurant in the bottom floor there. Looks real nice. And next to it is a high high-rise 
apartment building. Lots of tall apartment buildings down here in St. Petersburg. Yet another massive apartment building. Man, can you imagine what it must cost to live there? More than most of us can afford. Yeah, just looking at all the beautiful air buildings down here. This is actually a hotel. I'm gonna head up this way. It's an interesting graffiti on that, huh? Now this is a street that has a lot of shopping and bars and restaurants. First United Methodist Church. This is the first old building <laughs> that I've seen in downtown St. Petersburg. And it is across the street from the city park. And a mosey on in here. I'm in the park now. I was wondering where the homeless people were. I hadn't seen any yet. This is where they are. So I'm probably not going to hang out here for very long. I've already been accosted by homeless people in Tampa. <laughs> I'm kind of, or I'm really not in the mood for it anymore. Nice fountain down here though. Williams Park Hotel. Yeah, you can tell that's old. It's a pretty old building, very small. It looks like it's a hotel under construction. Not quite ready to open yet. This building was built in 1925 and is on the National Register. So I love to see that. I love to see buildings refurbished. It's a little back alley here in the city. But this caught my eye. That's pretty awesome. Painted on this old building. I'm gonna head back to the hotel. I think I said this earlier, but we are staying on Treasure Island, which is a barrier island. And uh, our hotel our room actually looks out into the canals that run along the island and the front of the hotel is on the beach. As you may have guessed, we purposely planned our trip to Florida in January because, well, why not? Why deal with uh, winter weather, huh? <laughs> so St. Petersburg is behind me. I am driving on the bridge to Treasure Island. So this is the area our hotel is in. Our hotel is just right over here. Lots and lots of canals. Boats. Little uh, hole in the wall shops and restaurants. course we're out on the beach here in Tampa St. Petersburg well, actually on Treasure Island, Treasure huh? Island. yeah are we gonna find it's... a buried treasure yep cool yeah it's really beautiful white sand the water's blue yeah we think we want to move here when we get old oh wait we already are old Yes, we already are old. So when do we get to but we may move here before it's all over. <laughs> For sure. But it's really nice. It's uh, a little windy, huh? Yeah, it's a little windy today. We were hoping for less wind. And, yeah. Uh, you know, we gotta watch out for it. It's uh, probably mid 70s. 
and mostly sunny, but a little bit of a wind. Could do without that. Yeah, but you gotta think it's uh, January what? 13th? It's middle middle of January, yes. It's January 13th. <laughs> this is gonna be the coldest it gets here, probably. Yeah, the locals say this is as cold as it gets. Got a bunch of people out there flying kites. But here's the coastline, of Treasure Island. A lot of people live here. So St. Petersburg is straight this way, and then Tampa's on the other side of the bay, Tampa Bay. Probably hear the wind in the camera now, huh? I'm guessing. The sand is real nice though. I want to put my foot in the water. You don't want to put your foot in the water? Whenever I'm... I know, you are a baby when it comes to cold. I always like to put my feet in the water when I come to a large body of water, let's say. So this is the Gulf of Mexico. Gorgeous. Pretty quiet out here. Not a lot of people out here. I can't hear you. I don't know. So we just bought a new bikini for you. You like it? You like your new bikini? I gotta try it out even though it's actually chilly. You gonna try to get a little bit of sun? I don't know if I can get a little bit of sun. <laughs> it's, it's with the wind, it's quite chilly. Oh, you're going to try to walk? Got a bunch of people flying kites over there. It's a good day for it. What'd you say? The wife is trying to get some sun here. I said it makes me just want to say, go fly a kite. You want, or you want to tell me to go fly a kite? Is that what you're saying? Go fly a kite. <laughs> you go fly a kite. Yeah. Actually, I probably will try to fly my drone here, maybe. I want to lose. I know, it's windy. Woo. It might be too much wind. But this is our last day. This is our last day here in... Um... Oh, you're going to get some on your back now? This is our last day here in... St. Tampa, St. Pete area. And we will be heading to Key Largo Tampa, next. St. Pete is the place to be. Huh? Screw Tampa, St. Pete. Yeah, like Petersburg. Anyway. Maybe going to attempt to fly a drone. We'll see.
our time in Tampa St. Petersburg is over. Time to review the hotel. We stayed at the Treasure Island Marina. And uh, what do you think? Mm. Well, you know my my big thing was was the gym. The gym, if you can call it a gym, was awful. Not only that, the place, the, the actual room where you work out, you can't even call it a gym, really. They throw their trash there, the trash that they get from their breakfast buffet, and of course I put that in quotes, and I'll let you talk about that in a minute. But they throw all their trash in that room. So it just sits there, you got trash by exit right there. But not only that, there's a closet that they use there all the time for like the gym that, uh, I'm sorry, for the bar that's just like two rooms behind me at the time. So they're in and out constantly. And in fact, on the second day that I tried to work out there, they were constantly in there. All these employees scrubbing out this closet. Do I know of any positives? Um, I mean, it was clean enough. I mean, it's obviously an old hotel, but we knew that going in. It was clean enough. That's all I have to say on the positive. It was clean enough. Yeah. Yeah, the gym was kind of pathetic. Uh, and the pictures, they have weights. There are no weights. Uh, it's a catch-all for trash for the kitchen and the um, the bar. The kitchen, if you want to call it that, because the breakfast was pretty pathetic. No, no eggs. eggs. I mean, it was just uh, a piece of fried bread with cheese in it and sausage. It's not even breakfast sausage. It's yeah. dinner sausage, Italian yeah. sausage. Uh, they've got a bar that's pretty cool. We liked it because it had pretty good prices, right? Yeah, the bar was pretty cool, but I mean, I guess I didn't have a bartender tonight. It's Thursday night. The bar's closed tonight. Absolutely close. Uh, the room's okay. Pretty clean. Uh, Wi-Fi's okay, though. Yeah. Um, pluses for the place, though, it's on the beach. And, you know, in the... our We have a little patio, and you walk out, and you can see one of the canals that run through the island, which is okay. So yeah. there's that. But for the most part, you know... It depends on what's important to you, again. Like, if you want to come to a place that's reasonably priced and close to the beach, yeah. it's pretty good. And you don't, and you're just on vacation, you don't care about working out. Yeah. It's okay, you know. But if you're, like, like us, we're living on the road, so we have to work out on the road. So that made it negative in our view. And, of course, the breakfast sucked. So it anyway, depends on what's important to you. Sorry. Right. No, it's okay. I was going to say... Uh, it does have a, a heated pool and a hot tub, which is pretty which nice. Which we just got out of. Yeah, we went in the hot tub, I think, every night. So, there's that. So, anyway, it's got pluses and minuses. What do you think? What's your rating? On my scale, on what's important to me, I'd say probably 3.7. Yeah. That's... But again, it has... I'm going to go lower, 3.5, so... It has to be what's important to them, though. Yeah. You know. All right, so we're heading to the Keys next. So, be looking for that video. Yay!